everybody welcome back to sticks and stones wood carving and today we're going to finish working on these faces here that we're putting down a cedar post uh, i cleaned this guy up he's pretty much good to go i might do a little bit more work on him we got another one above him and we have more cedar posts left uh, i think we have enough for two more faces so today or one more face after this one yeah, yeah we could do two more we're going to put one right about here and then we'll have room for one more on the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the Dremel out. Somebody had uh, asked me about doing one with some teeth. So I'm going to use my saber tooth bit here. And we're going to start carving. And we'll see what we can come up with. And here we go. Now I do have a chainsaw in the background. Let me just start off here by doing a line. And I'll try to simplify it or even... Uh, show you guys even another way you can do this. So I'm going to start by carving across again. Now I might step in the camera a little bit here and there uh, in the beginning because my camera's in the way for this. I really should have moved it before making this video, but that's okay. Uh, I'm not in it for long, you know, just in the beginning here when we're just going to clean some wood out underneath this cut I just made. And what the heck is that on my shoulder? Some, some kind of fuzzy or piece of hair. <laughs> but anyway, all I'm doing is I'm clearing the wood underneath uh, that line I just put across here. And it's going to be hard to get the left side of this carving here. Because the camera's like right there. And for some reason I just can't adjust it so I can uh, really get around to that side. So forgive me in the beginning here. But what I'm doing is I'm just making kind of a flat spot right in the center there after I carved that line across the top. And we're going to come over here to the sides and we're going to take a little bit more wood out. Because I know I'm making pretty simple eyes here and these are just big goofy faces. Alright. But uh, it might confuse you even though they're so simple because I made them so simple in the first two. So I'll try to show you how to dig your eyes in just a little bit more for those that are confused if they're not coming out good enough for you. The whole idea is to not complicate it too much. See these corners here? I'm going to try and at least keep uh, some depth right there along the corners of the nose. Right? And right here I'm just going to run a line, a line down and a line down on this side. See the way I have to hold that tool on this side? It's, it's going to be tough. Now let's just start shaping our nose here for a second. Uh, like I said, once uh, I know once I got the nose and some of this stuff shaped in, I won't be in the camera anymore because I blow it up and I finally figure out what I was doing. I was like, it's just so hard to make these and film. I mean, if I was just walking around, it's always good to put something in a vise. But to have to have a camera then and have something in a vise, it's real hard to stay out of the camera. And a lot of times I've got to push the camera so close. You know? Now right from there, out of that corner we were making, I'm going to run my line up for the eye. Uh, actually, this is going to be the eyelid, all right? But really, if you would want to make better eyes than this, and you wanted to get a little bit better and more realistic eyes, you know, or just flat out better eyes instead of the big goofy ones I've been doing, is you could make this his eyebrow and not the eyelid, okay? And the way I'm doing them quick here is just to make that the eyelid. All right. I'm not really uh, making a brow out of that, even though it does look like an eyebrow right here. That's going to be his eyelid. All right. And we got the center high, but I did flatten it out a little bit at the top, and I'll show you what we're going to do there. Again, trying to round it off a little bit by digging in the corner there and on the other side also. All right. Now so over to this side, and that little corner we were just making. We're going to dig there, and we're keeping enough just enough right there so that nose is separate, all right, and it's going to come down on the inside corner of the nose. And we're just going to shape another eyelid, all right, and make sure that uh, you're going into the side in the corner of that nose there. It's kind of tough to stand over here on this side. I can really can't get at it the way I want, but hopefully we'll be able to pull it off and well, I know we do pull it off. It's just going to be dug up, and I'm going to have to clean it up off camera. That's all. Because uh, you really need to be able to walk all the way around to the side. And I would have to move my Dremel and everything, but it's just not working with the setup today for some reason. 
so you're just gonna have to deal with it and carve what we can and I can always once I cut them up you know I'll uh, I'll clean them up when they're in my hand it'll be much easier to just work around the whole carving but all I did there was I took the wood down after I made my eyelid here on the upper and the lower part and then we take the corners out on the bottom of the lower right there okay and over here by the nose we make sure we make those a little bit deeper and that starts rounding that eye mound off see that so right in there I go deep not real deep and right here and that starts shaping a nice little eye mound now if you want to make good eye mounds or good eyes instead of putting a pupil right in those let me clean up under the nose here a little I would do a whole other set of eyelids right across those mounds and then make the eyes there and that's how you can make make them not look so stupid if you're getting confused on the eyes because those would make two nice little eyes if you just ran your eyelids across those mounds now but like I said I'm going to use the top cuts that we already have for eyelids in this guy because you know it'll match the others and I'm just making these big and stupid and goofy and I'm not really caring about putting any really decent eyes in all right so I'm going to round the mouth off here the mouth barrel and we'll see if we can give you guys a quick little way to just uh, get some teeth in one of them so give me a second and I said trying to stay out of the camera and trying to two-fist it here with the Dremel and not my favorite way to carve but actually there's a lot more control when you're holding the Dremel in just one hand and you're holding the piece or at least if I could put my left hand on the piece but then everything would just be in the camera and you wouldn't see and I could just hold it in my right hand and kind of go around the carving but I just don't have the room for that with this setup so we'll have to do it like this like we did all the others and we'll end up with another pretty simple goofy face that's all only this one we're going to give some teeth to so i'm just I'm using this side that bit to clean off some of this gray wood and once i have the width of the nose that i want and then i'll start again i'll go to the bottom here and i'll start putting my nostrils in and once those are in there uh, i'll be able to gauge the width of my nose as far as the wings of his nose afterwards so you make one cut there, dig out from underneath it, do the other one, make sure they're kind of symmetrical, and take some wood out underneath that, and you got two nostrils popped in real quick, okay? Now down here is where we're going to put his mouth, so we're going to have to do the wings of his nose uh, and get some smile lines going, all right, once we have the width of our nose, and I'm just going to lightly cut there we go that one that's going to be the first one All right and i don't think that's going to be too bad now over here i'm going to lightly cut just before i dig in too deep because i want to try and make them symmetrical and see if i like that or not All right and that one i want to raise up a little bit more see i don't like it that's why i didn't cut too deep yet All right so i'm going to raise this up a little because i want it to be symmetrical at the other side and I like that a little bit better when I'm looking at it from the side. So we're going to dig, take that and we'll deepen that in now. All right. And then we'll just shave all that down and blend it together. So never really make your wings of your nose. Don't commit right away. Take a light cut first and make sure you like it before you start really setting that nose in there because you might want to readjust something the way I just did right here. Okay. Now once we have that side cut in we'll come over and we'll finish this side off and this is where you can get you know you can get in there deep with your bit and round that nostril off and when you get down about here take some out down at the bottom a little deeper and start running that line over to the side coming right off the nostril there or the wing of the nose for your smile lines and this will allow us to shape the barrel of his mouth and give him whatever kind of mouth we want just tuck that wood up into that stop cut you just made and then round off the whole bottom underneath the nose here you can take more wood out under the nose to make it stick out even further he's got a pretty good size schnoz there so that's not bad and we'll just round this off and figure out where we want to put our mouth and how we want to do it might want to take that down a little bit more 
on both sides. Depends on what you're going for and how big you want his mouth. But like I said, the more longer you make these and the more you round it off, the easier it will be to put a mouth on this guy. Now, we're just going to draw a line straight across with the tip of our tool. And again, we're using uh, one bit for this whole carving. So I'm just going to run a line straight across using the point of my bit here. I'm going to offset it just a little bit, give it a little downward slope, and then up gives him a little bit more of an expressive look instead of just straight across or keeping it totally symmetrical. And then we'll clean it up at a 45 degree angle just a little bit, flatten that lower part out. Not too much, because we're going to use that lower part. Now we're going to make uh, three different sections here, because we want to add our teeth, and the teeth will be the second section. So the next cut that we make, after cleaning all this up, is going to be what we're going to use for teeth. So we're going to come up here to the corner, make it a little skinnier. Right about there. All right. Let's start it there, and then we'll run another line across. And you can make this as big as you want, or as small as you want. I'm going to keep mine fairly big. Doesn't have to be perfect, don't worry about it, because we can always clean it up as we go and reshape. But we're going to go with about something like that, and then we're going to try and clean it up just a little bit and make it stick out just a little by taking some wood out underneath there, straightening everything out. Okay, underneath it. Now, the third line, of course, is going to be his bottom lip. And then we'll have that mound in the middle that we can shape into teeth. Okay, so we're not going to make this too fancy. Again, we're just making it pretty simple. Just tuck it up into the corner there. And then again, take wood out from underneath it to make it stand out a little bit. I am going a little bit skinnier in the corners than I am on the whole thing. And we're going to round it over and smooth as we go. Take the wood out from underneath it to make it stick out. One, two, and three, okay? Pretty simple. Nothing fancy, it's not rocket scientists, uh, rocket science here. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to be able to do this. And again, we're using the same bit. It's a big, clunky, saber-tooth bit. If I want to do detail with it, it's got a little bit of a point on it. It's flame-shaped, so I can pretty much do this whole carving. Uh, well, I have. I've done <clears throat> lots of carvings, including the first two, just like this, using just one bit which is the idea to make these uh, videos fairly simple too. Now you don't have to make the same exact face. I'm just taking the wood down here and trying to flatten that out a little bit. I don't want them sticking too far out from either the top or the bottom. I'm trying to get them a little bit inside there. And then real easy to start making teeth. And you're just gonna run some lines straight down. Now if you're using hand tools, you could use your V tool for this, but since we're using one bit for the video. We're just going to use the point of our Dremel, of our saber tooth bit here. We're just going to make some lines come straight down. Of course, the ones in the back are a little smaller than the ones in the front. You can make them wider as you go across. And then you try to round them off a little bit at the bottom and undercut them a little bit, and you'll have a set of teeth going across. Teeth aren't really that hard. It depends on how fancy you want to make them. But if you're just doing simple stuff like this, just a couple of lines going right down the center and undercut them a little bit on the bottom, and you got yourself a smile, okay? As long as you have the wood there, it'll be easy to get teeth. That's why we made that little middle section here. Otherwise, we could have made that middle section just a, a lip and start running beard hair, and we just got a face, okay? already but we're giving this guy the teeth now in the corner i'm going to try and open it up just a little bit in the corner of the mouth by going a little bit deeper it's going to be a little hard over here trying to do it with two hands and i'll try to get a little shadow in the corners there by digging a little deeper and underneath 
I'll try to undercut it. Then you shave them down because, again, you don't want them jutting out way past your lip or anything. Uh, well, at least I don't in this guy anyway. Of course, if that's the look you're going for, then that's what you do. You leave them stick out more. Don't undercut them so much or don't shave them down. But see how quick you can start forming a stupid little smile? Doesn't take much. And then it's a matter of rounding this off and getting that uh, the shape we want it. And again, the eyes over here, uh, if you would just draw your eyelids on now and then cut across the way we've been doing it, you could get two pretty good eyes in this guy. But I'm going to use it just the way it is and just pop two holes in it and call it done. So, his eyes aren't going to be that great, but I don't care because I don't want to spend a lot of time on this guy. I'm just trying to get another quick little idea video up for you guys. Like I said, you don't have to have the same type of face. You don't have to copy this face. Uh, God knows I've done much better wood spirits. I'm just making these fast and simple and easy for beginner carvers. These are meant to be beginner videos. Uh, sorry, I'm a little out of the camera there. I'm just running these uh, little pieces of hair down to points like I've been doing in the other videos. Uh, you'll see that when I raise the camera up. I kind of zoomed in a little bit so you could see everything I was doing. So I forgot to zoom out before running the beard hair down. And I'm not making him have a big beard because... I want to be able to get more faces on this post. We need at least one more, so I want to leave a lot of room on the bottom so we have room for that face. So I'm just going to do a couple. See that how I just form it into a little point there? And they don't have to be perfect points. That's all I'm doing underneath that bottom lip. Now I'll zoom out quick and you'll be able to see it once I get this in. But that's all I'm doing is I'm running some simple small hairs down, making little points at the bottom, and then smoothing everything together. And uh, I probably will go off camera and take my knife to get shadows and everything. But while he's zoomed in, I want to just quick do these eyes. That's why he's zoomed in. So we're going to make the corner here deep. And over here, we'll make sure we get this corner a little bit deep too. Okay, and you see that nice eye mound? You could run eyelids across that now, an upper and a lower, and you'd have a nice eye. Uh, if you've been watching the channel, you'd know how to do that. All right, but for now, we're just going to pop a hole right there, and we're not going to worry about putting eyelids in. We're going to use the top for his eyelid. Okay, and we're going to just shave that down a little bit, just stick a little hole there. I can get this side. This side's going to be a problem. I'm going to tell you right now. I just can't get this camera out of my way. I'm going to zoom out. See what I did with the hair? That's the only thing I'm doing for hair on this guy. Uh, I'm just trying to make it fast. Because I'd like to get the other face done and get the, to planting these. So right here. By the corners of the nose. That's where we want to go deep. We want to run that the bottom part of that eyelid right into the corner of the nose there, right? And then we're going to pop a, another hole. And that'll be his second pupil. And let's see if I can finish these eyes off. We'll try to get them to be a little bit more looking like eyes anyway. I should just leave it like that and just put a little line like this across and he would look fine. You know? Who cares if he's got big stupid eyes? That's that's part of his charm, you know? So to do that, if you want that look, that's all you'd have to do once you put those pupils in. Just run a little line like that across and you got eyes. Okay, and then you can put bags or whatever you want. You could also try and go around that pupil with another cut like this. And that kind of makes it a little smaller. I don't know if that's going to work on this guy or not. Let me see if I can do it on this side and let's see it better. Oh, that one's a little bigger than the other one. I might have to play with this, but uh, there's all kinds of things you can do with eyes. Uh, this side I really can't get good at all. It's just digging it up, so I don't know uh, what I'm going to do. But adding extra lines like this to make the eyes smaller... All right, and then put, making those bags or wrinkles is another technique you can do. 
you don't have to do this. You could have stopped right when you put your pupils in and left it alone. All right. I'm just trying to show you a couple different things you can do. This side right here isn't cooperating though. So this I might have to do off camera because I really don't think I'm going to be able to clean this up at this angle. It's more of a, a hassle to get at than uh, the right eye, that's for sure. Well, his left eye. It would be his left eye, but it's to our right. Yeah, this side, see, I can't even get a good wrinkle in without it. I need to hold my Dremel at a different angle, so sorry about that. Let's cut the sides of his face in here. I'm just going to do that just by digging at the tip of my tool and I'm going to try to get in pretty deep there. And again, this is really just beginner stuff. Uh, you guys can play with it. The more you play with it, the more types of faces and characters you can come up with. Don't mind my hand. I'm going to try and dig that out a little bit more. Like I said, this, this side's a problem side at this angle. So, of course, I'm not going to get the tool cutting the way I want it until I move this camera out of my way and I can actually walk to the left side of this carving here. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and I'm going to try and dig this in a little bit and on the outsides of this we'll use that piece for hair and we'll try to get it to blend into uh, his face on the inside. You know, to get the inside of his face to blend out to that hair anyway. All right. Now we still have to clean this up a little bit and get some good shadow in there. He's not going to be the prettiest guy. He'll have a lot of character. He'll look goofy, which is what I'm going for. All right, so please don't give me a comment. Oh, that's not how you do a face or, you know, you know, and then you get those people. I wouldn't do a nose like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is about putting flowers into it and having fun. I'm really not caring, like I said, about making a, even a good wood spirit here. We're just going for a goofy, clowny face and whatever I got to do to clean him up to make him look good enough off camera when I'm done. And that's what I'll do before I plant him. That's all. Before I make him a planter anyway. I'm going to come down the side of the nose here just a little bit and I tuck that up and under a little bit more because I do want his nose to stand up just a little bit more. So up in here, we're gonna flatten this out. And I'm kind of angling down here and that'll give the bridge of the nose a place to dig up and under into. And we can dig those eyelids into the sides of this and that will give him the brow line we're looking for when we view him from the side. All right, so I'm gonna take this eyelid now and extend it right down on the inside where we just flatten that out. And like I said, if you look at it from the side, that's angled back 45 degrees at the top there, that flat spot I just made. This right here, okay? So that that's angled down at a 45 degree angle. And then I just take the eyelids and I push it into the sides of that. So that way they're going to the inside of it, right? And then I just run it right down the nose here and blend everything together. Yeah, boy, I really got to work on this eye on this side because he is not looking good. And under here, we'll try to give him some wrinkles and extra character, you know. And to make him look good, like I said, I'll clean him up uh, at the end of this video. And then when I take him out of the vise, I'll probably work on him more where I can actually get at him because this two-handed stuff is for the birds, to tell you the truth. <laughs> right here, trying to trying to carve uh, like that is just not my favorite way to carve. But like I said, making a YouTube video, that's you do what you got to do. You know, at least you're getting to see how to do the mouth, which is what uh, they're the basic techniques of it. So hopefully that right there gave you an idea too. Just a matter of me cleaning this guy up so I have a piece that I can work with and uh, make something out of. We'll clean him up enough that, you know, we'll get something out of it anyway. Never waste a piece of wood. I'll just keep working on it until I can come up with uh, a piece that makes me happy anyway. And that's all you do, you know. 
And if not, we got a couple others that we can move anyway. So we're going to have a, a couple of nice little planters here that'll be interesting to look at. No matter how they turn out, somebody will like them. Trying to get a little bit of forehead in here, so I'm running that line across. I need something to dig this hair into and push some of that forehead up and under. I'm not going to come down over here and cut it across because don't forget we're going to cut these guys off. And then we're going to hollow out the tops of the heads to put our flowers in. Just trying to get a little bit of shadow here and that's what I'll do once uh once I stop getting all the initial rough cuts in, then I'll do a sticks and stones clean up on it and add all the shadows and everything. And, and then I'll come back and show you guys the end result because that left side definitely is going to need some work and I really can't do too much of it like this with two hands. But that right there is pretty much what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean his forehead up and we have to add some hair on the sides and get some better shadows in. Uh, right there is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna move this camera out of my way and see if I can clean him up a little bit more where I can actually walk to the side and uh, we'll get some hair in this guy and clean up his eyes a little bit and up in here and I'll put some shadows in with my knife maybe and we'll see uh, how it comes out. All right. Let's do that. All right, so here we have it. This right here is what I came up with. All right, I get, went down, I gave him some hair on the sides. All right, I'm gonna use my knife here. Now remember, these aren't teaching tutorials. This is an idea video, really. So, you know, once you get an idea of a basic face, you could use whatever methods you want to get the face in, all right? And I'll use whatever it takes, guys. You know, I'll use my Dremel, I'll use my knife to get some harder shadows in. I'll probably come down here and take all these and dig them in with my knife better the eyes are just stupid whatever i want to do with those i just try to make them look like eyes okay so do what you have to this right here was basically uh, somebody had requested to do one with a mouth and i said i'll do some quick teeth and uh you got a basic idea how to do some teeth right but take whatever tools and do whatever faces you want to get the effect you're looking for like i said these are just meant to be stupid and goofy quick cut them off put some flowers in them and we're done Okay, we got room for one more face. We'll do that in the next video. And then we'll cut these all off and uh, make ourselves some planners. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see everybody in the next one. I'm going to continue cleaning this up. And we have one, two, and there's one up there at the top. Okay. So we'll make sure we have enough room for one more. And we'll do that tomorrow. So, thanks again for watching. See everybody then. Bye-bye now.